Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the first week of May. This is for April 30th through May 6th. Um, yeah, so generally my readings are love readings. We will just see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Libra. falling off that's a good sign um, yeah this is for the sign of Libra what does Libra need to know for this first week of May what does Libra need to know ooh well somebody that has probably been through some sort of shock or they are avoiding a disaster. Somebody is avoiding something. You're at a crossroads right now. Do you stay or go? You have two paths. You probably are feeling restless, detached, withdrawn. There's a lack of contentment here because you have to make a decision. And there's obstacles in the way and something is causing a lot of mental conflict and you are going to have to step outside of your comfort zone, Libra. Okay? You are. And not let fear of sacrifice or whatever hold you back. You may be feeling empty inside. You know, something could have ended that you may not have wanted to end. This can signify the death of an idea and now you need to take time to recuperate or you have gone through a period of recuperation. Either way, it feels like something has ended. Okay? And now, you know, it's a time of uh, rejuvenation. Anyway, but there's still a lot of mental conflict here. Turmoil. You're not really trapped. You can step out of your comfort zone and make a move whenever you're ready. You're being offered a new path, but many of you are choosing to stay. Here we have clarity, you know. I think you know what you need to do. I do. I feel like you guys, uh, you know the truth. You're hearing the truth. You see the truth. You know, and, it, and you may get easily distracted by something, okay. You really need to stay focused right now. Um, I feel as though something that you started a long, long, long time ago is probably coming back around and making you excited, but you still fear. You still fear letting this happen because it may be a little uncomfortable, okay? This page also brings an energy or a new suitor into your life that is more or an, well yeah it's a new suitor it's usually a new suitor that comes into your life that is more suited for you okay but it feels like many of you may be weary about letting this person is because you're still stuck someplace else you know, it could lead to a, a lot of passion. You guys are being offered a new, exciting, passionate opportunity. Okay? You are. Something that promises some growth after something has ended. So I feel like you guys are, you know, being offered something that is very... adventurous perhaps 
but you're very conflicted. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I'm really scared. I'm really worried about. I'm not sure if I'm making the right decision. This is a really difficult decision to make. Whatever it is. You guys are being called to not resist it. Please don't resist it. Let it happen. Don't hold on to the past hurts. Don't let them hold you back from moving forward with this new ex exciting opportunity. There could be a spark between you and another person that is being offered to you from above. But it may be making you feel a little uncomfortable, okay? Because I feel like you have gotten out of something that was hurtful. And now you fear sacrificing your heart, your soul, yourself to another person. What if they cut you? What if they hurt you? What if they aren't true? What if I get obsessed with them and they don't follow through? You know, but I feel like you guys are headed in the right direction very, very, very quickly. All you need to do is continue to use that mental strength that you do have inside of you. Don't let those mental conflicts overpower the strength. You guys have went through some sort of transformation. And you're moving forward very, very quickly. You're headed in the right direction. You're replacing the fear. And, but the thing is, that fear is still there. You're slowly replacing the fear. Slowly. It's not happening as quickly as it should, even though it's happening pretty quickly. It is. There is a new spark, but there's still... You're still trapped in the past, put it that way. You know, you fear. You're, you fear uh, a false beginning. What if, what if I'm making the wrong decision here? Am I really, I mean, what, I'm so confused about this decision that I have to make. Because the past is still haunting you. It's still holding you back. The past hurts. You're being called to truly let that go. Don't bring it with you. Don't fear that whatever is happening now with this new opportunity is going to lead, in disa lead to disaster. Don't even let that hold you back. Whatever is happening at this point is truthful. It is the truth. Whoever you're, it is that you're dealing with, they're being honest with you. You're being given a new opportunity right now. You are. Something stable, secure, honest, truthful, fertile, exciting. One. One, 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 one. It's something you've manifested. It is. You've manifested this new beginning. And God, universe, whoever it is that you honor, is giving it to you right now, Libra. It's your turn. It's time. Do you want it? Do you accept it? Do you accept this new beginning that leads to something solid, stable, honest, passionate, If you would stop focusing on the losses that you've been through, stop focusing on the hurt, stop focusing on the difficulties, and focus on the two of cups, the new prospect, the new opportunities, you could find something very fulfilling. But many of you are just focusing on the loss, the hurt. You're blocking passion, new beginnings with mental turmoil. Step outside of your comfort zone and let this new beginning happen. Let it happen. It's a gift from above. Let go of the baggage. Let go of the baggage. You don't need it. It's too heavy. It's too much. It doesn't serve you anymore. It doesn't. 
That baggage does not serve you anymore. Drop it. Find your strength. I know at times you feel weak. You may feel lost. You may lack the courage and the confidence. You have these doubts that whatever they are. We all have different doubts. But you're doubting yourself. Stop. There's no need to. You are worthy. You are worthy. I don't care what happened. And I don't care what you cross watchers have to say. You are worthy. Fight for it. Fight for yourself. Don't let people criticize you. You are over criticizing yourself. Don't, it doesn't matter what other people think. This card in reverse is criticism being judged wrongly. You are misjudging yourself. People are misjudging you. People are criticizing you when they have their own skeletons in their closet. Don't let them hold you back and steal your power. Block them right out of your life. Whoever is holding you back, block them. If they don't support you, they ain't your friend. You've learned something. You've learned something really big. One cycle of your life is over. One contract is, has ended. It has. A contract has ended. There's been too much conflict. There's been too many fights. There's been too much indecisiveness. There's been too much back and forth. Too much arguing. But a lesson has been learned from it. It's time for you to start this new chapter. It is. With the world card right next to the fool, I'm telling you what, the last card and the fool card right next to each other, this is my favorite deck, I used it, I've used it a hundred times. You are about to embark on a beautiful, wonderful, divinely guided new journey. You have a new beginning right in front of you. One lesson in your life, one cycle has been completed. Congratulations. That was a success, even if it hurt. You have a major new beginning right in front of you that is candid to you from above. Celebrate. Have fun. And don't deal with anybody who doesn't appreciate you. Block them. Somebody doesn't appreciate you. Drop them like a hot potato. Move on. It's time to come out of this dark period and see the light. It's the end of a difficult time. The worst is over. Don't lose yourself. Whatever you were involved in was unrealistic. It wasn't meant to be. And now, it's time for you to bring balance back to your life. Don't do yourself an injustice by letting whoever this person is control your future and steal your power.
It's don't be dishonest with yourself. You know what this is. Something has been weighing you down, and it's time to drop it. It's not realistic. There's no growth. You've been wasting your time. And it hasn't brought you any satisfaction. All it's done is caused you to feel repressed emotionally distraught, confusion. It's time to leave it behind, walk away, don't look back, and love yourself unconditionally. And restore balance, control, freedom, emotional freedom, mental freedom, freedom, peer, personal freedom. It's a time of freedom from a toxic situation. You're being offered a new opportunity because that toxic situation that you were involved with, with is now over. You've learned your lesson the hard way and now you have a new beginning handed to you from above. Open yourself up to it. Release the fears and let it happen. Whoever you, the new person is, new, has good intentions for you. Somebody that you were dealing with was unrealistic. Okay. And was being dishonest. And that you could be dealing with this person now because this is for all uh, hundreds and thousands of people who are in different phases of their life. This person, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be unrealistic. They could be being dishonest with you. And you're being called to free yourself from this situation and walk away from it because they have hidden agendas. So that's just another story. Somebody is dealing with a water sign who has hidden agendas and you are being called to walk away from this situation because it's unrealistic. They have something up their sleeve. They're being dishonest. They're, be they're treating you unfairly. They're lying. And you need to free yourself from it. Just saying. Also, be prepared to live with the consequences of your choices. This is a card of consequences. There is consequences for every choice that you make, whether it is good or bad. Somebody is dealing with a player who is just out to harm you. They have secrets and hidden agendas. Wisdom. Wisdom. You know what this is. You've learned a lot. You have a lot of life experience. Look back at all you've learned. By drawing this card, you're invited to contemplate the far-ranging consequences, oh my God, of important decisions. Athena calls you to reflect upon valuable insights gained from your life experiences and to decipher from truth, from half-truth. I just got done saying consequences. They do this for me all the time, every day. I'm going to read it again. 
you are invited to contemplate the far-ranging consequences of important decisions. There are consequences. Mm -hmm. hmm. Wisdom is earned through the human experience of trial and error and by trusting your inner voice over the voice of others. Remember, we talked about that already too. The willingness to learn from experience and be objective without, about the mistakes of the past reveals the mighty value of wisdom. Do not repeat the same mistakes. That brings bad karma. A clever mind can be an asset or enemy but is by no means a measure of wisdom or spiritual intelligence. Being clever is, that's truth. Just because you're clever doesn't mean that you are, you know, that you have wisdom. That's sneakiness. There is a world of difference between the two. In the worlds of Sandra Carey, never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One helps you make a living. The other helps you make a life. If you find yourself in a predicament, Athena reminds you to use wisdom to quiet the mind and shine a light on that which needs to be seen. Are you doing the right thing, Libra? Are you doing the right thing? Somebody's not doing the right thing. I don't know if it's you or, or, or another person, but somebody is not doing the right thing. And if you're not, don't do the right thing. There will be consequences. There will be. Never mistake knowledge for wisdom. One helps you make a living. The other helps you make a life. Beware of false beginnings. Are you making the right decisions here? Are you doing the right thing? Is what you are doing going to hurt another person? Or is what they doing to what they're doing to you going to hurt you? Anyhow, that's what I have for this week. Talk to you later.